Hi there and welcome back to Gaming Crazy. This is our part 6 video of Daydreamer Awakened Edition. Today we're going to be going into uh, World 6, which is the caves, and our boss is Razor Mouth. So you can see we're back to like an industrial style looking uh, stage. My strategy for this today is I'm going to try and uh, conserve the power of my gun a little bit. Uh, go for more uh, melee attacks. And also try and use my pets a bit wiser because I think I've been over overusing my pets a little bit and uh, burning them out. This stage is actually quite tricky. It's actually taken me uh, quite a few attempts to actually complete this stage. Uh, hence the fact this is a recorded video opposed to doing a live stream. Um, Daydream, when it first started and started playing it, actually seemed uh, not much of a challenge. It was just an enjoyable game. But now, as we're getting really deep into the game now, the stages are a lot harder. So you've really got to think uh, wisely about how you actually approach the stage. Uh, opposed to just like running and gunning, which is what I've been doing on the previous videos. Now this level it's uh, got quite a few tricky areas to negotiate uh, which we'll come across some in a moment which is basically uh, a lot of the floor uh, on another stage it's got like a electrified barbed wire uh, you get stuck on that it takes loads of health off and uh, like I say you've really got to uh, negotiate the stage uh, wisely uh, you get like surrounded by your enemies uh, with little robots with the guns and they'll just uh, annihilate you One part I'm trying to uh, do a lot more with the stages as well is uh, do a little bit more searching to be honest. We can get the little yellow credits to uh, buy more upgrades for the pets, uh, buy new pets as well. Because um, as we noticed last time I was in the item shop, the credits were a bit low. Uh, so you just got to dig around really and just find them. Here's some here. Uh, so basically my tip with this game is get as much of the credits as you can. Also as well, when you're doing your uh, kills as well, Try and go for uh, combination like chain kills. Uh, you'll get a lot more back in uh, with the credits as well and the health power ups. This part of the stage is uh, quite tricky. Uh, like I say, there's the floor with the electrified bar wire as mentioned earlier. There's a part up here in a moment where. Uh, the lasers are coming out and you've got, just got to dodge them, uh, to be honest. There's an area I couldn't quite unlock, um, like a secret area. Uh, which I might go back on this stage and find out how to unlock that. Another tip of this game, keep an eye out for your gun power-ups and change. I did actually find a weapon I was uh, after, like I mentioned on a previous video, which was like a, a beam of light that's uh, it's extremely powerful, like a big laser. And like I say, you can hold up to, uh, I had three different guns on this, because that's the light gun I mentioned. It's a very, very powerful gun. Coming to an area now, which is what I've mentioned earlier about multiple kills. You get like a chain bonus with your kills, so uh, like a combination. And you will get a lot more back with the credits and the uh, life power ups you can see. I just picked up some stuff there. This is chain bonus. So get your chains up as uh, much as you can with the combinations, and you'll get a lot more rewards back. As I mentioned earlier, it took a couple of attempts to actually uh, uh, get to finish this stage. It was quite tricky. It might look like uh, it's quite easy on here now, but uh, 
like I say, you've just got to negotiate the stage correctly. If you're not careful, you can get surrounded by enemies quite quickly. This part of uh, the caves was extremely uh, difficult. Um, my advice for this part of the stage is use your weasel. Uh, the weasel will just shoot up and attack enemies as they're coming down. What's happening is the, uh, the platform you're on is uh, raising up to the top, but as you can see, um, you will actually come across the electrified barbed wire um, on parts of this stage. So you've got to kind of dodge that, jump on both platforms while dodging these lasers, at the same time taking out the enemies. This is why the weasel comes in very, very handy on this part, because the weasel will just jump out there and probably see things that you can't and attack it uh, before it has a chance to attack you. This stage, as mentioned earlier, it's actually quite a lengthy stage. I say you need your pet to get through this as well. Um, if you use your powers up before and you can't use your pet, then this stage will become a lot harder. Uh, the weasel, as I mentioned, is the uh, the best pet for this stage, as he'll jump out and uh, kill everything before you get to it. This part of the level is really hard, so just be really aware when you get to this part of the stage. There's a lot of platforms you've got to negotiate with lasers shooting out the top, uh, well, from the bottom up to the top. Um, and like I say, if you don't negotiate these platforms correctly, it's it's uh, back to the start of the stage or a loss of life. So uh, just be very careful in how you bring yourself towards this. What I've done with this as well is I've took the uh, the weasel off, try and get the power back up, conserve the power of the uh, special abilities and what have you. So like I say, you've just got to work out when you need your pets, when to use your guns, and obviously how to negotiate the stages, <laughs> so it's very, very hard. Just be aware as well when you're jumping from one platform to another, where the next platform is. Don't think, oh, it's probably there. I cut this bit up as well. Right, here we are. This is the boss. So what you got to do with this boss is just basically just leg it. Now, I did multiple uh, attempts of trying to kill Razor Mouth, and I got stuck a few times. I had to restart the stage. Best thing to do is just keep running and gunning. Now, something that surprised me when I got to the end of the stage as well. I had to double check what we're going off, to be honest. But uh, if you're going to be shooting Razor Mouth, best gun to be using is the, uh, I'll say, the big laser gun that you just saw me using a minute ago. Just turn around and keep blasting it. And as I said before, multiple kills get you. Uh, uh, bonuses with your power-ups and your life. 
I didn't use a pet here. I think the best pet probably to use at this point would probably be the weasel. As you jump out and kill all the uh, other enemies while you're taking the boss on. Just be careful of the, uh, the electrified uh, razor wire floor as well. So yeah, just keep running and gunning. So eventually you'll get to a point that you'll see in a moment. So now we're coming near enough towards the end of this bit now. And as you can see, just before it said stage clear, Razormouth did have some life left. Now I did go running back to see where he was and what had gone off. I couldn't see what was going off, it just ended the stage. So there we go. So all you got to do basically is just outrun Razormouth. So that's the end of our part 6 video of Daydream Away Condition. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the video a like and I'll catch you next time for part 7.